Hello traders, be very welcome once again to this series of educational videos that the FXCM has for you. My name is David Londoño, I'm a trader and also a market analyst. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about the hedging strategies. What are they and what do we use them for? So the hedging strategies are, let's say, there are techniques used by investors to reduce the risk of adverse price movements in their investments. So it's a kind of risk management strategies. They involve taking positions in assets that are negatively correlated with their existing holdings. So common hedging strategies include option contracts, future contracts, uh, and also any kind of diversification across different asset classes. And also these strategies aim to protect against losses while still allowing for potential gains in the investment portfolio. I have three different examples for you on hedging strategies. Let's start with the futures contracts. So this hedging with futures involves taking a position in the futures contract that are correlated with the assets in the portfolio. For example, let's say that a farmer might use futures contracts to hedge against the risk of falling crop prices by selling futures contracts for their crops at a prede predetermined price. So it's a kind of hedging uh, for the, let's say, corn or any other kind of futures contracts. So it's a way to protect their current, um, let's not say investment part, but their, their current assets, right? Another kind of hedging strategy is a short selling. Well, this one, it's uh, when investors can also hedge their long positions, but short selling um, related assets. So by, by selling short, investors can profit from prices, from decline in the price of an asset, which can offset losses in the long positions, right? And the last one is uh, currency hedging. So international investors may use currency hedging strategies to protect against fluctuations in exchange rates. So this can involve using forward contracts or currency options to lock in exchange rates for future transactions. So let's say, for example, uh, we were talking about negatively correlated assets. So for example, we can see the USDCHEV right here talking about currencies. We can see the USDCHEV is negatively correlated to the euro USD, right? For example, right here, we have a lower low while we have a higher high in the USD check. So, so this negatively correlated can give you different positions protecting between the two assets or the two currencies right here. Uh, if you want to know more about some hedge strategies and how to use them, I will recommend you this article we have on the FXCM platform it is what is a hedge ratio and also how to use the hedge um, strategies to to improve your risk management, right? This is a great article right here. So I recommend you to go on this one. And if you like this kind of information, don't forget to share and subscribe. And also click on the like button and I will see you in the next training session.